So let us look at some hints for network management that are specific to layer two. We have a different presentation that carries network monitoring and management for the campus network and design and operations course. And we also have a separate five day network monitoring and management workshop. But we just want to look at a couple of things that related to layer two switching. And the first is to enable SNMP traps as well as syslog. The idea is to collect and process these in a centralized server. And you want to collect things like spanning tree changes, duplex mismatches, as well as other wiring problems, because the switches will be able to detect any one of these three and send you logs. The way you want to do it though is you want these conditions to generate an alert or at least something that prompts you so that it's not something that you are looking for, but it's something that the system can tell you about um, proactively so that um, if, if wiring breaks um, and spanning tree changes, then you can go and fix the cable or get somebody to resplice the fiber or whatever it needs. The second thing that we recommend that you do is to use Rancid or Oxidize to report any changes inside the switch configuration. This is for backup purposes because remember the moment you have spanning tree and VLAN and all of these things, then any changes need to be documented automatically so that in case the switch fails, you have the last valid configuration that you can restore onto the new switch but it's also for audit purposes so that you know what changed when. The next thing that you would like to do is to collect forwarding tables with SNMP. This allows you to find a MAC address inside your network quickly. And at the very basic, you can have it output to a simple text file that you're going to use grape on. It would be better if the output of this ends up inside a web tool with a database backend that you can search. If something on your network alerts you that um, a certain IP address, which you have tracked down to the corresponding MAC address from your DHCP is causing some kind of issue on your network, then this will allow you to track down where exactly on your network this device is plugged in. We also advise you to enable LLDP or CDP or whatever similar protocol you have for your vendors of switches that you're using. This will show how the different network devices are connected to each other and to other network devices. However, we recommend that you do not enable this on the link between yourself and your service provider. You should only enable it on internal links to your internal switches. It's not a protocol that you should be running between yourself and your NREN, for example, or your peers. Next is documentation. You want to document where your switches are located. And the first thing is, it's a good idea to keep the building name inside the switch at bare minimum. And then you should have files, whether it's a soft copy or hard copy, that has the physical location, which floor, which closet number, is it in somebody's office, so that when somebody is looking for a particular switch, they know how to find where that switch is located. You should not make the name of the switch too, too, too complicated so that it's way too long. But if you can build in at least the building name and if you have multiple switches on different floors, you could also build in the floor number into the switch name. You also want to document what is connected to the different ports. What room number, what jack number, what server name. And you can document this in multiple ways. The files that have this physical location, the software files, could have a documentation of what each port is connected to. You can use interface descriptions 
most vendors will allow you to put a description on each port and you can use that to tell you what is connected to that port and so on and so forth but you need to keep that documentation and whichever method that you use you need to keep it current so when something changes somebody needs to go and update the documentation Thank you.